What's up guys, it's Dexter here and I want to talk about the best budget decks for this month that I could find. I'm trying to do this segment monthly, so let me know if you appreciate that by hitting the thumbs up or something like that. But uh, as you guys know, there has been a wild injection into Standard and unfortunately, a lot of the decks that are running like the Nazoth, Sylvanas, Ragnaros sort of package are also just expensive in nature. So even though you get those cards for free, you probably aren't going to be playing too much of that if you want to stick to a budget deck. There is one budget deck that we have that is running some of the new cards, but aside from that, most decks aren't. Before we jump into these decks, I do want to thank our sponsor for this video, which is Playvig. Playvig is a completely free app that you can download on your computer and you can start earning rewards. So it's free and in addition to that, you earn things from it. You can get cash, you can get gift cards for multiple things such as Steam, uh, Nike, Adidas, Amazon, and there's a lot more than that as well. If you still want to earn things, but you don't want to play Hearthstone, you can use Playvig with so many different games. It could be Fortnite, it could be League of Legends, it could be PUBG, like Overwatch. It, it doesn't matter. There are so many different games. And, uh, you know, getting free things is always fantastic. You can do these little quests. You can compete on leaderboards. A lot of cool leaderboards out there. And, oh yeah, on top of this, you can get free Hearthstone packs, you know, build up your collection a little bit. So if you want to have some fun, you know, do some quests, compete against your friends, and earn free things, don't forget to check out Playvig now. I'll link it in the description below. And thank you so much again to Playvig for sponsoring this video. Before we actually talk about other decks that uh, I found a lot of stats on, I do want to throw in this budget Nazoth Rogue. Now, I don't think it's going to be nearly as good as the other Nazoth Rogue. It's definitely not going to, but it might be a lot of fun if you're a budget player, if you're above rank 10 or around rank 10, it should probably do solid. It's only 1,020 dust, actually, and I think uh, you'd enjoy it quite a bit. If you look at the amount of dust here, it'll say 4,220, but that's because it's counting Nazoth and Sylvanas as 1,600 dust each, so you subtract 3,200 dust, and it's 1,020 dust. Now, if you look at my YouTube videos, you'll see that there's a Nazoth rogue out there that is actually killing it, but I've made some changes to make it budget. Uh, one of the biggest changes that is gonna hurt is we dropped Togwaggle, um, Togwaggle does get that wand, it gives us a draw, so if you want to upgrade this list, definitely get a Togwaggle. We dropped the Doomsayers for Eviscerates, I dropped Thalnos for a Sap, then I dropped Ziliax for a Bone Wraith. Oh, and I think I, I dropped the Togwaggle for a Sylvanas. So yeah, this should do decent, you should do alright, it's still an infinite Nazoth build, it's just without the Togwaggle, it does hurt you quite a bit, but you still have the option of getting a, a scheme that's relatively large, putting it on your Nazoth after you've discounted it from the Shadow Step. Nazoth Res is your Car Tuts, your Apple Bombs, your Sylvanas. It should be pretty fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the other decks. This is Secret Paladin. Now this is the one that's using the most wild cards, which is really just... Well, it's, it's four cards. It's Avenge and it's Mysterious Challenger. Now this is a budget version and you're not going to see much of this at high ranks because Highlander is just better but this deck does fare well on its own we do have quite a bit of secrets we do have the mysterious challenger in there which can pull all the secrets we get a nice synergy with the secret keeper we get sun reaver spy which also you know being able to play a secret on one into a spy on two is pretty dang good mysterious blade becoming a war axe pre-nerf then we got spell breakers in here to get through all those like carta defenders or apple bombs that you are definitely going to be seeing with this meta and then other than that we're just pushing a lot of damage weapons go face Kings on minions go on face. Um, Candletaker's a little bit weird, but I guess just throwing in a three drop, Candletaker's a pretty solid, pretty sticky minion. Usually you can follow it up with a Kings. So this comes in at 3,520 dust, which is, I guess, not too cheap, but I think it's actually cheaper than that because you get the Mysterious Challengers for free, although I, I don't think that's included in the screenshot where it shows the dust. Avenge is free. Most everything else is like a common card. Maybe a couple rares. Secret Keeper, I think, and uh, maybe Mysterious Blade. But Leroy Jenkins, 1,600 dust. Uh, that's kind of where the dust really adds up here. But Leroy is such a good card. If you don't have him in your collection, I would highly consider it. He's constantly in the meta. He's thrown in so many different decks. He's just a solid craft. If we're looking at the non-budget version of this, we have Secret Highlander. This deck is killing it. I think it's actually the number one deck in the meta right now. I think this was made by Trump. I'm not 
too sure. It's hard to know who made what. And this deck is definitely better than the budget build, especially if you get Finley on curve. You know, maybe you're you're pulling out your secrets with your your sentries or pulling them out with your challenger. You're, you're gonna you're gonna do great. This deck is at like a 60% win rate over like I don't know. 20,000 games or something it's pretty nutty let's jump into the next budget deck which uh, appears to be the cheapest one which is murloc shaman at 2400 dust so while this is the budget murloc shaman it's actually the best murloc shaman per statistics also one of the top decks right now i think it's like top four decks which is like uh Murloc Shaman, Evolve Shaman, Battlecry Shaman, those are all fantastic. Highlander, Paladin, uh, Combo Priest, I think that's top five. But anyways, we just got a ton of Murlocs in here, really nothing too fancy. And what actually threw me off about this is we're not even running Mutates or uh, Evolves here. I'm not too sure why, but per the statistics, this has really, really high win rate. Maybe if you want more Mutate value or you just want to throw an Evolve because it's fun and it's a kind of new card go ahead and throw that in there but it looks like what we're just trying to do here is maybe cheat out the mogu flash shaper for cheap maybe we get a value trade maybe we don't even care we're just trying to set up a nice board maybe hit a soul of the murloc on all the murlocs and then uh hit him up with a bloodlust maybe a war leader maybe a war leader and a bloodlust and then just kind of just destroy them so it's kind of like a token shaman but it's murloc shaman seems like murloc shaman's always a thing it's a solid craft at 2400 dust what do you really have to invest in here um i guess the war leaders and uh the war leaders are seen in like pretty much every meta that i can remember so war leader is also a good craft in addition to that leroy we were looking at earlier now there is no like expensive version of this because i mean it's, it's murloc shaman it's just budget but you can look into evolve shaman or quest shaman those are both expensive but those are both the number one shaman deck. And you're going to be seeing like 30% shaman on the ladder. Murloc shaman is what you're going to be seeing the least actually. All right, so we got another one that uh, has been in the budget decks video ever since the expansion came out. And that is Combo Priest. I know it's not too exciting. It's got no new cards. It's really, it's, it's the same, but it's just such a strong deck. Even the nerf to extra arms couldn't really slow this thing down. This is the budget version at 3,780. Dust. It does run a Met, and I think a Met is a safe craft because he's probably gonna be ran in almost all priest metas. I would I would assume he's just so powerful. He's even being run in sort of the control priest list as well. Some of them, you know, you just you stick a big dude, hit him with some divines, hit him with a, a topsy or an inner, and then you just OTK your opponent. It's really frustrating to play against, but. Uh, I hear a lot of people are having a lot of fun with this deck. If you want to look at the non-budget version, it's really not that much more. 5,340 dust here. We got the Buon Samdi there. Uh, Buon Samdi, a little bit more niche. Hard to kind of recommend crafting it. I think if you're a budget player, kind of just stick with the, the budget version. Don't spend your hard-earned dust on Buon Samdi. Don't forget, there's always expansions in December. Maybe you don't want to, you know, use your dust now. Maybe you want to use it then. But if you really do love Combo Priest a lot, and you're just missing Buon Samdi, you want that extra 1% or 2%, you know, win rate, go ahead and put them in. So once again, the best deck is actually going to relate to your personal collection. What legendaries did you get? Did you end up getting the Shaman quest? Because then you should definitely play Quest Shaman. Did you end up getting Bran and Zephyrus? Because maybe you want to play Highlander Hunter. There are so many different options. So many cool decks out there right now. But again, if you just want the best deck, play Evolve Shaman or, or play Quest Shaman. Those are just a little bit nutty. Once again, thank you to the sponsors of this video. If you like the video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up. Good luck on ladder and stay hydrated.